I would love to go around, if I was younger and had more time, I'd love to go around and tell people. Mm -hmm. People don't understand what Candy's is. Mm -hmm. they, this place has to be the best. Hi everyone, my name is Jeffrey Waugh and I'm standing here in front of Candy's Place, the Center for Cancer Wellness. Now today at Candy's Place they are holding one of their exercise classes. But this is just one of the many programs and treatments that Can Candy's Place has to offer cancer patients and cancer survivors. So let's go inside and see what this exercise class is like and what the patients think of it. And we'll see also what else Candy's Place has to offer. In addition to this exercise class that is held three times a week, Candy's Place also offers Reiki classes, massage therapy, and they are going to introduce a Tai Chi class as well. I was able to get a chance to talk to some participants in this exercise class who frequently visit Candy's Place and partake in the programs they offer. What's your name? My name's Brenda Thomas. Okay, and how long have you been coming to Candy's Place and participating in this exercise class? I am uh, three years. Um, I had breast cancer, and what had happened was they did a... M the treatment that they did, I was cured. So what I'm doing now is um, I'm trying to give back everything that Candy's gave me. What benefits have you received from taking this exercise class, uh, not only physical, but also if there's any mental benefits, boost your spirits or anything like that? Yes. Um, mentally, emotionally, I have uh, received so much because of all the women that are in here are so supportive. If one of us was down, then what we would do is uh, we would give her or him all that attention. So I received, I'm like, the new girl on the block, if you know what I mean. What's your name? My name is Arlene Kamnoth. Okay. I'm a registered nurse and I'm a volunteer nurse at Candy's Place on Fridays. Okay. And um, how long have you been here at Candy's Place? I've been a volunteer about two and a half years. My um, duties are that I call all the current patients who are receiving chemo or um, remission for a year or so just to check on them to offer them the programs that we have here at Candy's Place. A lot of them uh, like the Reiki, the massages. Many of them do the beat explosion which is the exercise class that's held here three times a week. Um, what compelled you to come here and, and do volunteer work here at Candy's Place? I myself am a cancer survivor. I'm a stage 3 ovarian cancer survivor which is uh, you know a tough cancer to beat and that's six and a half years and you know in gratitude for lack of a better term I decided to try to give something back to those people mm -hmm. who have already gone through what I went through while I was sick I never utilized Candy's Place at the beginning I was just too sick and then I just never did now that I'm here and part of Candy's Place I really I wish I had uh, it's, first of all, it's all free. It's all free to the cancer patient and their caregiver while they are re receiving treatment and one year after that treatment. So that certainly is a benefit, you know, to have a massage when you're not feeling good. And, and, and I, but I did not do that. Okay. Well, you're, you're here now, and, and, and that's great. Um, what, do you, what do you get out of Candy's Place now, um, now that you're here as a volunteer and not as a, a cancer patient? I think the biggest thing is the camaraderie that I experience uh, with the people in the beat explosion. I also get a lot of satisfaction of talking to clients, patients, survivors, whatever term you want to use, um, and knowing that in some way I've helped them that day. I've, uh, not, not too long ago I called a girl who was so appreciative of the call because she had been crying all morning and uh, I know what that's like so 
I, I, I felt good inside. I made her feel good, but she made me feel good that I was able to help her. Okay. And you take this exercise class. What do you, what, what do you think this gives to the people who take the class? You know, and what does it give to you? And what do you think it does for everyone who does it? Well. The, I think, my personal opinion, I think the cans, the um, beat explosion exercise is for people with breast cancer because there's a lot of uh, movement in it for your arms and your upper body. But it, it's also, a, it, they're a club, those girls. They, they go together to dinner, they have parties together, they visit each other in their homes, and it's brought a group of people who had the same concerns together and were able to uh, survive because they had each other. Mm -hmm. And when one of them is down or one of them is up for a PET scan or a CAT scan, uh, they all rally around those girls. And that's a very important thing when you have cancer, especially in this area, there's so much of it. Well, thank you very much. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you welcome. very much. Okay, what's your name? Pat Balcom. I'm a volunteer at Candy's Place. I've been here two and a half years. What, is, uh, what compelled you to come to Candy's Place and, and work here? What compelled me? Um, my husband's a seven-year cancer survivor, and um, the day he was being operated on, I had my kids and my family with me, and I saw the girl at the desk, and she was telling the families how they're doing after the surgery, and I looked at my sons, and I said, you know what? Mom's going to do something like this when Dad gets better. I'm going to volunteer. I didn't know I was coming to Candy's, but I wanted to give back. So after my husband uh, got feeling better and he's doing wonderful, he's back golfing, I decided, you know what, I'm coming to Candy's place. And they hired me, and I started a week later, and I just love it. And let me tell you something, guys. Everybody should know about Candy's Place. People don't aren't aware of this. It is the most rewarding place. These girls come in, they're very upset. Chris is so good and Annie, everybody's so good with them. They make them feel like it, they'll be fine and they will be fine. And we have so many nice patients. The girls now they're doing exercise, all of them aren't patients. They come in and they do exercise. It's just, I can't explain to you how what it does when I leave here in the evening. When I leave here at 2 o'clock, 1.30, I feel so good. And I understand you have some new programs coming up for the new year. Could you talk us, uh, tell us a little bit about what, 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 what that is, what new programs are? Sure. We have, so every month we have an educational program, so it varies from month to month. But in January, we have a program presented by the Northeast Regional Cancer Institute, and it's called uh, Cancer Basics for the Newly Diagnosed. Because cancer is so scary and people don't realize some of the terminology that the doctors use, uh, they're a little frightened. So this will be like an introduction basic course for anybody that's recently diagnosed so that they, if they have questions that they're afraid to ask the doctor or they don't understand what the doctor has told them, they'll be able to do that. And then in April, I'm hoping to have a comedian to come in here and do some laughter therapy. Come here. How have they responded to these programs, the, the comedian, the exercise? Um, and these classes of what to do after cancer, the, these things, um, have, have they told you anything of how they felt about it, what they liked? They love them. Um, first of all, it's about coming here and it's about the camaraderie. And, you know, so many times when you're diagnosed with cancer, people feel alone. But when they come here, they realize that there's other people that are in maybe a similar type of treatment or post-treatment. And there is some hope for them. We're wrapping up our time here at Candy's Place, and I gotta tell you, I've learned a lot from my time here. The biggest thing I learned from talking to all the people I got to talk to today, they all said the same thing. The camaraderie aspect of this place, you cannot get anywhere else, and it helps so much. They are all here for each other. They are all friends, they're great friends, and they will help each other out in any way they can. Now the other thing that's surprising to me is that not a lot of people know about Candy's Place. So I have to say, if you have cancer, or if you know somebody that has cancer, bring them here, bring them to Candy's Place. They will show you around, uh, they will give you a tour, they will show you what they have to offer, and everything here is completely free. You pay nothing, and it is also free for the caregiver. So. 
come down. If you can't get here yourself, have somebody help you get here. It's free. You will not regret coming down here. You will definitely enjoy it here. I think it's a great place, and I know you will too. I'm Jeffrey Waugh here at Candy's Place. Thank you for your time and attention. Thanks for watching, and remember, stay well.